videotaping. All right, testing a bulletproof plate uh, prototype. It's a not it's obviously not the size of my chest. It's about five by five. There's 21 uh, layers of fiberglass woven roving. Um, I think it's 18 ounces per square yard or something like that. I can't remember. Maybe 24. I can't remember. But anyway, it's woven roving fiberglass resin. I compressed it, and there is a 16th inch steel plate on the back. Um, like just with one layer of fiberglass around it to keep it bonded to this. I'm going to see if a 9 mil from a Breda M9 will go through, and then if a 7.62 by 39 from a Mini 30 will go through. All right, then. Let's get back. These are just uh, for the 9 mil. Look at me. For the 9 mil, it's just uh, Remington UNC um, ball ammo. For the uh, for the Mini 30, it is Winchester white box, full metal jacket. So both of them are full metal jacket ammo. All right, Ben, let's look at it. I'm about five yards away with this. I don't think it went through, but I'm going to get a better shot because it was a horrible shot. Alright, let's go back. Alright, once again. Got it right in the middle. Hold that for a second. Didn't go through, but there's a lot of bulging on that plate. First shot didn't go through. Is it bouncing off? Uh, I think it's getting encased in there. You can see that. There's kind of a ring around right here where the fiberglass has gone out. There's the first shot. I'm shooting with one hand because I'm trying to hold my Mini 30 with the other. That's not going to be the best. All right, mini 30 time. Let's go. 9 mil doesn't go through. 